Hey everybody, uh, my name is Thomas, and today I'm going to be ranking programming languages on a tier list. Uh, if you don't know what a tier list is, basically S is the highest, D is the lowest. Uh, I'm going to rank these. Um, I think uh, this is going to be mix. This is going to be based on a mix of experience and. Uh, just kind of my gut feeling or my research about these languages. Um, so, you know, hope I don't hurt any feelings out there. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is this is going to be my my tier list. So let's just jump right into it. So right off the bat, C. I think this is a lot of people's uh, first programming language. You know, it's good. It's classic. Um, good language to learn the fundamentals of, of low-level uh, programming. That being said. It's a little old fashioned, so I'm gonna go ahead and start this one off in C tier. Uh, this next language is, you know, C++. Uh, it's like C, but with two pluses, so I think I have to go up two ranks and put it in A tier. Uh, next we have JavaScript. JavaScript is a great language. Uh, I, I would probably say like maybe the perfect language, really flexible, language of the web, uh, I think it can only go in S tier. Uh, next we have TypeScript. And TypeScript is just like JavaScript except they made it harder. So I don't know, I think this has to be B tier. Um, what do we have next? We've got Lisp. Uh, Lisp, uh, I don't know much about this language but the, lang but the name of it makes me uncomfortable. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a D. Uh, PHP, uh, this is God tier. No, uh, this is like pretty good language, easy to use. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in, in uh, go ahead and put it in B tier. Uh, Go, Go is a, a multi-purpose uh, systems language used a lot in cloud, cloud programming. Um, I think, I think that Go is is a nice newer language to learn if you if you want to learn something that isn't isn't too old but uh, is also pretty flexible you can do a lot of interesting things with it I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a um, we have Python next similarly flexible um, it's kind of like they took JavaScript and made it more hard though so I don't know, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it in B tier. Rust, uh, kind of a newer low level language. Um, I think it's a little better than C, uh, probably on par with C++. Go ahead and put that in A tier. Uh, and then we have COBOL. COBOL is uh, a language that is very, very old and I believe they used to uh, bring us to the moon. So therefore, so therefore it, uh, it has to go in uh, moon tier here. Uh, and then that finally brings us to Fortran. Fortran, as I understand it, another very old language. This is used in a lot of financial uh, programming, a lot of financial institutions. Um, you know, banks and, and things of that nature have a lot of legacy uh, Fortran code. The only problem with that is that we we do need to um, abolish the Fed, and for that reason, I have to put it in Ron Paul tier. Um, so that's that's my ranking. Uh, please let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching.